Hello, and welcome to another unboxing. Now it's been a while, uh, because of COVID, basically things have not been shipping. Uh, for a while there, a lot of packages were actually cancelled and not sent to Australia at all. So very lucky that this even arrived. Um, so, let's, uh, let's open it up. Hey, Daddy. Hold on. Open up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the box in a box. <sighs> Sorry, it's taking a while. Whoops. I'm assuming this is the top. Yeah, I'll go scratch. Oh, just adjust the camera there. Seem to have bumped it. Alright. Packaging. Oh, this is the Hero Quest. This is Hero Quest. Ooh, I like Hero Quest, but I've never played them before, have I? Of course you haven't. Get off the table, please. Yeah. And there we have Hero, Hero Quest. Quest. Long time waiting for this. Yeah. Sorry about the glare. Let's see if I can do something about that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bit of a rough start. <laughs> yeah, I think it's ending on start. Really, really nice art. Fuck up. It's almost the same as the original. Just. You know, different new new style. Looks more cartoony. I'm going to take these tabs off a bit later, but I'll do it with with some stuff so the um adhesive doesn't actually stick on the box. It's the back of the box. So for the camera shaking, the daughter is bumping the table. There's more, I miss those. <laughs> Silly me, there we go. Okay, let's try this again. Tray of stuff. Heavy tray of stuff. We'll get to those in a minute. This is the board. That gorgeous beauty. Uh, this is a lot bigger than the original. The, the squares themselves are actually an inch wide. This is kind of cool. Keeps everything together so it doesn't fall apart. We 
have the dam screen. A gargoyle at the front. That's cool. The reverse side. Combat summary. The evil bunny. Your creature stats. Monsters and then heroes movement. Quest book. It's really nice art. I might try and paint them to actually look like the artwork. And then I'll just show the first mission. I won't go through the book. But that's how everything is all laid out. Spoilers for the first mission. It's basically the tutorial anyway. But everything written there. As far as I'm aware, the text is exactly the same as from the original. Uh, all the rooms are the same. There's one mistake that has been identified, and that being mission number 10. There's a room that in this version is missing a door. Uh, it is confirmed that it is basically a typo. It's a mistake. Uh, so that information you can actually look on Twitter under Zargon. He does basically took over their Twitter. It's nice artwork on the back. The um, it's actually stitched as well, so that shouldn't fall apart as long as people aren't folding the covers around to the other side. The content. I work at the cards, how to discover certain things, the character sheets, how to read them, the creatures, how to begin your quest, movements, uh, and it's still printed with the incorrect line of sight. Apparently that's a mistake and it's still in here. If that's not authentic, then I don't know what is. <laughs> so these are double-sided as well, which is cool. The traps, the skulls, the block doors, secret doors, all that stuff. Um, and then under this is actually nothing. But with that box now empty, you can actually store everything in it, including the expansions. But we'll go to these. So it's a sleeve over a tray. Now, it's a pity that the book doesn't actually have the text on it. The original prints did. So, I could get really lazy and just find stickers or just scribble on there. I do want to paint all of this as well. And the torture rack. Legs a little, little bent. Yeah, that side hasn't been put in properly. I'll see if I can use some hot water to fix that. But at least it's put together. <laughs> That's something. Tables. Ah, oh, bugger. 
bent like a shield. So I'll use some hot water to to fix that. But that's all right. Still looks like the original, which is good. Actually, that might straighten that up, actually, since everything clicks in there. Little desk, little bottles, scales. There are the solid as well. Uh, the extra skulls as well. Like an, like an animal skull or something, I can't, yeah, I can't get that to show properly. Yeah, about to say I'm missing one of my rats, but it popped out. That's what the rats look like. Should get some turtles to go with that. If you don't get that joke, you need to be cultured a bit more. It opens. So apparently this is where the skulls and the rats get stored. Now unfortunately my channel isn't very big. I don't have thousands of viewers. I am very appreciative of all the people that actually follow my channel and do watch these videos. I thank you very much. Uh, there was one of these given out last year to some people it was was a lot bigger um, and it actually had the dwarf pre-painted and some dice in it and the the way that it was made is it actually felt like stone I would absolutely love to get one of those for the sake of having it for the collection but I'm not a big influencer so I didn't get offered any of that stuff which is unfortunate, but maybe I'll find it down the road. We'll find a picture of a wizard or something to put in there. Or myself, maybe. <laughs> the chests, sadly they don't open. They're kind of cool. What else we got? Bookcases, skull in there, random books, some nice textures, you paint this and stuff it'll actually turn out really nice, I've done some decent sculpts there, then you've got another one, exactly the same, oh my lordy, oh, Jesus, like a jewel cupboard kind of thing. Um, in there. Character sheets. Look at that. <laughs> I don't think you're going to run out anytime soon. But just in case, I'm sure Hasbro will release this file as a PDF so you can print off more. So if you don't want to use these at all, you can just print them out. Or if you were around for the very first copy, which I was Actually, I was a little boy, and it was the very first board game I ever played. And that got me into the addiction of role-playing and board games and anything geek and nerd, basically. Which is why I had to jump on this. It's definitely a nostalgia. My daughter's kind of excited to play it too, except she's decided to bugger off. <laughs> um... And then we got some doors that are closed. So I think these vines and stuff will come up quite nice painted. And then all the cards. I'll not go through all the cards, like one by one, but I want to show you that the art is very very similar to the original which is really nice the description of what it does it's very simple 
And that's a good thing about this game is it was it was made for kids and adults could enjoy it too. So I mean they're dead. Oh look, the broad sold. Sorry, I had to. I'll refrain from saying anything to do with cracking and unboxing. Those up and we'll, we'll show these. So, Dread Warrior, Abomination. So, for copyright purposes, these had to be renamed. Not Chaos and not for me. Oh, you can have Gargoyle and you know the other names and stuff, not exactly copyrighted with the other company. And the orcs are a bit different too. When it comes to their sculpts, they just they look totally different. So they decided to make the elf female for the core box. And then in the stretch goals, we got the gender swap. In the original, they were all males. And then just the four of the, uh, the cards you give to the players. So those are nice. And now... For the minis. Start with the heroes. The Barbarian. These are really nice sculpts actually. I've seen worse. I feel like I say that a lot as well. Oh, these sculpts are really nice. <laughs> Get in there. No, whatever. And the dwarf. And the elf. Bit of a uh, bit of flash there on the end. Hey, Cut off the sprue. I'll we'll just hey, Daddy. I'll clean that up. I'm actually watching you. I'll just yeah. clean that up before I paint them. Make sure I get rid of any of the mold lines and stuff that are there, like on the side, just there. They don't even sit in there properly. I don't know as I say that. Uh, apologies for the noise in the background. Um, it's just me washing my hands. Evil bunny. It doesn't look like a bunny anymore. That's a shame. The dice are decent. They're not wood, but I'm sure you look on Etsy if there's someone making wooden dice. The gargoyle. Bit bent, but hot water will fix all of this, straighten it all up. But once I do, I probably won't keep these trays, just because they're, they're pretty bad. But they did their purpose, and that was to to get the game and the miniatures to our hands without being damaged. And from what I do with it from there on is in my hands. Uh, 
let's do that. So we'll do do it for me. They're a lot bigger. Oh, sorry, I said for me. That's what they were supposed to be. Uh, it's bigger than a for me. Uh, these are yeah abominations. Not sure if uh, that was meant to be a joke or a pun, them calling them abominations. I know a lot of people are very disappointed. A little bit flat through there with the detail and the faces. A little, a little buttery, as they call it. That's all right. I really like the goblins. That big, teethy, cheeky grin. Sorry, trying to get the focus so you can see as well. Um, there are male and female, for some of them, at least anyway. Which I don't have a problem with. That's actually pretty good is why can't there be female adventurers I love red Sonia so that makes sense get out of there bloody hell oh. sorry about being unfocused Um, I'll show you the mummy. <sighs> Sorry, camera's having a spaz. And the new zombies. Uh, different, different female orcs. Okay, now we'll move on to the next. Keller's Keep. I really like they kept the same design for the box art. Just modernized, which is really cool. And then we get the back of it. Description shows briefly what you get. A list of items. Quest book. It's gonna have all your typical jazz. Something I didn't do with the the core one is show you the back. It's where you can design your own. You don't necessarily have to draw in this book because we live in the digital age. To be able to just print it out. The artifact reference. Originally, in the original versions, you actually had to cut these cards out, and that's how you got the cards. But I don't want to cut this book. And we live again in the modern age. They printed all the cards. Uh, these aren't double sided. Which is a little disappointing actually. Fire, just all the special stuff. Sorry, I didn't show you the back of the other cards. Uh, so these are the same male goblins, female goblins, male with hood, and then your other female orcs. More for me is <clears throat> abominations. 
Uh, but you do get two different doors. That's those. Cards sit there. Everything goes oh. together nicely. Next. Return of the Witch Lord. More quest books. More of the design your own. Like on what's in there. More reference cards. More conclusions. Missions. More tiles. And also not. A little bit of damage there. I think it's only a tile. Uh, and the bones, as far as I know, have no reference. And there's also another tile in Keller's Keep that there's no reference to it. We have no idea what it does. So it's there to add to a custom game, basically. More spell cards, more equipment and art. More of the same doors. Uh, now, skeletons. So you thought I forgot, didn't you? Well, I didn't. And they're all basically the same. So a bunch of more skeletons, more zombies, more mummies. That's what that expansion adds. So everything I've shown up until this point is going retail. So right now, you'll be able to, as of November the 17th, you'll be able to order the core box and the two expansions. This box you cannot order. This was for Mythic only. I kind of hope for people's sake that this stuff, some of this actually gets released later on. But don't go and spend a thousand dollars on the mythic just to get this box honestly there's going to be some cool content in here but i don't think a thousand dollars for all this is worth it um so these are the tiles from joe manganello all his his specialty stuff so everything that i'm about to show you from here on won't be going to retail, so this is all special exclusive stuff. So, quest books. More reference. More of that. Uh, it's done. The same as store at the front. Good thing is there's cards for these as well. Explanation of the story. And the, this is basically a special story to play for the bard. And then their missions. By Joe Manganello. There's the alchemy store, 
introduction, playing the quest, and then whoop, what his tiles, his special tiles do. And then the first mission. And then the third and final. Acme store, background. And first mission. So I believe these are between 10 and 13 missions long for these three quests. Um, and then the extra cards. Special Warlock spell. So these would be for, for the Warlock only. Special Bard spells. And then special Druid spells. So Life Force. Pixie. Shapeshift. And then we have for the Bard. Inspiring Tale, Healing Song, Lullaby, and then for the Warlock, we have Demon Form, Fear, and Dark Wings. Those are cool sounding spells. Um, We'll get to this box in a minute. Now, this box also includes alternate sculpts. So you have a female goblin, and she has claws, like a big cloak. That's oh, like a skull helmet on her head. Just wants a hug. Uh, can't believe it's not Cthulhu, basically. Oh my lordy. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. That looks like a female mummy as well. Just funny, because the name. Alternate knights, uh, uh, skeletons, my apologies. These ones are full plated. That's interesting. I like that the sword hangs off the base. That's actually really cool. Oh. Male orc. With a warhammer. So here we have the warlock character. I'm not able to capture the detail correctly with um like how good these models are. Just because my camera is not not that good. Um, so we have the wizard. Sorry, my uh, phone's doing that thing again. But what's cool though is this you can actually use this as an alternate character for the wizard. So instead of looking like the other two, you can use this one. Um, another one of the witch lord. Is different again. Uh, 
zombie. This is cool. Here we have the bard, which is actually an orc as well. Because why not? Get that one out. We have the druid. The alternate gargoyle. And then the big dragon. I believe the dragon's name is Venom. That's pretty cool. Now, quickly, I'll try and show you this dude. So I can't get him out of there. Alright. Now this. Separate box. like the tape, don't they? Come on. <clears throat> Gender swap characters. And then a special one. The female barbarian. Female dwarf. They've bent my card. The male elf, like originally, and then a female wizard. They are really in there. Don't know what that was above its eye, but I managed to get it off. Sword's a bit bent. I'll fix that. So, this is Sir Ragnar. Uh, if this box for these minis. Uh, as a special pre-order bonus so they sell this box separate, you won't get Ragnar. This is already confirmed that you won't be able to get that. Feel my wizard. And then the male elf. Be honest, I can't tell the difference between the two of them. His model's just a little bit chunkier. That's about it. Uh, yeah, and more dice, because more dice is always good. But thank you for watching. I hope this gets you excited for Hero Quest, like I have been for more than a year now. Um, hope you like the content. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section if you're looking at getting a copy of Hero Quest when it comes to retail. Uh, that'd be really good. Uh, but yeah, happy gaming, and uh, thanks for watching.